Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to do a review of unboxing, unbagging, and a review of a new catch box from Sniper Sling. Stay tuned. Normally I like to make things uh, before I buy them, or at least try. And so I made a indoor catch box for Slingshot Ammo, of course. That's what this channel is all about if you're new. The catch box I made was out of a uh, tub that you would get like parts at, at AutoZone. And what I did was I cut the bottom part of the doors kind of, and then I hung it up on the wall so you could open it up. And I drilled some holes through the side and, you know, put a string and a drop cloth. I've used that for one whole, eh, not even a whole winter, and I'm just ready to upgrade. So what I did was I went on, guess who? Well, make it sling the website. No, I don't work for them, all right? Jeez. But they have, oops, god damn, that was loud, sorry. This is the um, Sniper Sling Catch Box. I'm gonna take it out of the bag. I have not unwrapped it or anything yet, and we're gonna learn how to put it together. And then at the very end of this video, we are gonna shoot it, shoot at it. I'm gonna shoot at it with a slingshot that you've never seen. All right, let's get down to it. This is what you're gonna get out of the bag. Looks like a little target. Maybe like a 20 or something, that's pretty small. And then you have this. All right, so it's a, a bag that is kind of like an accordion. And inside of here is a couple of bars. So what do you do? There's no instructions. Looks like something's gonna have to happen here. All right, so inside of here, you do have a drop cloth, which is gonna be at the top. And then a couple of bars that are going to have to be um, separated, it looks like. They are all kind of zip tied together when you get it. So let's see what it's going to take to get this put together. So when you are done, it's gonna look like this. It has two layers of mesh inside of there. So inside here, there's not one, but two curtains in there. I don't know if you can see, but there is a mesh inside of there. There's two different layers. It looks like there's two things that hang down, two loops kind of that hang down. I don't know what in the hell you could possibly do with that. I would have more thought along the lines that you would have something on either side that you would grab a hold of. I mean, the construction of this thing looks to be legit, dude. Uh, it's definitely not, it's not cheap quality. I'm not seeing a lot of uh, issues with that. Maybe tie a tube around either side and run a, uh, you know, like a tube around a bar. There's a bar here and a bar here, which kind of makes the cage. I'll probably just run some tubing, tie a knot in it, tie a knot in it over there and run my uh, spinner in the middle. I'm gonna do that. So I have tubing here that I'm gonna run around the inside and I'm gonna tie a knot on it. All right, so I got it attached to one side. I'm gonna run a Timber 26 uh, spinner. So I'm gonna feed that through here. So now that's gonna be hanging like that. Simple enough, right? Now, well, will it work? Shall we find out? All right, guys, this was my old catch box. So this is what I did. It was just a, it's a tub and then I cut the uh, bottom of the doors here and then I just uh, used duct tape and some uh, sheet metal screws and just jammed that shut so it would have a lip to catch everything. And it worked fine for what it was. I have a couple of layers of stuff in here, uh, but it just kept bouncing out and I'm just kind of sick of it, so I wanted something new. So we're gonna take this down, out with the old, and in with the new. My shelf doesn't come out that far. I gotta run something just to hold this back a little bit. So let me figure out how I'm gonna hold it against the wall a little bit and then we'll shoot it. Okay, we have it professionally installed, as you can see. Let's step back a little bit and shoot it. I want to show you a frame. This is one that I just recently picked up. I told you at the beginning of this video that I was gonna show it to you. And now I'm going to make you guess what it is. There it is. I want you guys to guess. Down in the comments, guess the name of this slingshot. So let's see how this catch box works. I got some stuff right in my line of sight. It's awesome. Wow. Quiet. 
No bounce outs yet. I've missed twice. You guys see in my black and camera? Sorry. Uh. Oh, by the way, this is first shots on this particular slingshot. And I broke my string. Or maybe it came unwrapped. It didn't break. Uh, it, just the string or the rubber tube that I used to hang up the target came unknotted. So I did a, a double knot. And I think we're back on track. Definitely love the quietness of this catch box. Seems to be good quality. So overall, is it a good purchase? For me, yes. It is way quieter. My other one, when you missed, it hit pretty hard. This is a really good buy, actually. You can take it anywhere you want. I think if you just threw an extra roll of rubber tubing in there, then it would um, pretty much accept any kind of target you want. I like that. No buyer's remorse here. Uh, great buy. Excellent uh, catch box by Sniper Sling. I got it from Omega Slings. I appreciate you coming into my messy ass garage and watching me unbox it. So thank you very much and have a good day.